Now the eighth property is, suppose I have to write mod of fx. So I can simply write mod of fx as minus fx whenever fx is less than zero and I can write it as plus fx when fx is greater than or equal to zero. Now say for example, suppose I have to write mod of x cubed minus 4x. So what I'll do is, I'll write this expression x cubed minus 4x, I'll factorize it x into x square minus 4 x x plus 2 x minus 2 I'll get the roots 0 minus 2 and plus 2 I'll put it on number line minus 2 0 and plus 2 now what is the sign of the rightmost plus plus and plus so which is plus minus plus and minus so now I can start writing the definition of this function so definition is when fx is negative which is when x is less than minus 2 or when x lies between 0 and 2 in this case this expression is negative so when fx is less than 0 it is minus fx so what I'll do is I'll simply take minus sign so which is minus x cube minus 4x now when fx is positive it is simply fx so that means when x is between minus 2 and 0 or when x is greater than 2 now in this case it's a positive sign so I'll write plus so this is simply x cube minus 4x so if I have to write mod of fx I'll simply write it as minus fx when fx is negative and plus fx when fx is positive I'll take up an example say for example a function is defined as Now mod of x square minus 9 plus mod of x minus 2. So I'll solve this separately which is x square minus 9. So roots are x plus 3, x minus 3. So this is minus 3 and this is plus 3 and right most is plus. So this is plus minus and plus. Now next one is x minus 2. So I'll also write x minus 2. Now definition changes at 2. So rightmost plus and this is minus. So x square minus 9, it will have a definition change at minus 3 and plus 3. And x minus 2, it will have a change in definition at 2. So I'll start writing the definitions in different intervals. Now interval number 1 is when x is less than minus 3. Now when x is less than minus 3, x square plus 9 is positive so I'll write plus sign so plus x square minus 9 and x minus 2 it is negative so I'll write minus x minus 2 now the second interval is when x lies between minus 3 and 2 now between minus 3 and 2 this is minus and this is also minus so I'll write minus x square minus 9 and minus x minus 2 and the third interval is between 2 and 3 now between 2 and 3 first one is again minus second one is plus so I'll write minus x square minus 9 and then plus x minus 2 and finally when x is greater than 3 so in this case, both of them, they are positive. So this is x square minus 9 plus x minus 2. So now because modulus function and polynomial functions, they are both continuous functions. So it doesn't matter where I'm taking an equality sign. So I can take equality sign either here or I may take it here. So at any point in the inequality, you may take this equality sign. Now I'll start writing this fx. So when x is less than minus 3, so it is x is square minus x now minus 9 plus 2 which is minus 7 when x lies between minus 3 and 2 now this is minus x square minus x plus 9 plus 2 which is plus 11 
when x lies between 2 and 3, I'll get this as minus x square plus x, 9 minus 2 which is 7 and when x is greater than or equal to 3, I'll get this as x square plus x minus 11. So this is how we can write definition of these functions.